Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ashish here and today we're gonna see a very quick tutorial on how to animate a simple button right inside Webflow. So let's get started. Welcome back guys. So here we can see uh, we have a very basic uh, landing page design which includes the navbar, we have the image, we have the content and the CTA. So we want to animate uh, this CTA something like this. When you hover on the CTA, a uh, very unique kind of animation happens. So let's dive into Webflow and see how this is done. So we are inside Webflow now and you can see I have a very basic layers structure here and I have just created a simple landing page and we're going to focus only on the CTA part and how to animate it. So let's look at the navigator panel first of all. So I have this div block called getting touch CTA and inside that I have two text layers which are called CTA text 1 and CTA text 2. So now let's have a look at the design panel or the CSS panel. As I told you guys, I'm going to focus only on the CTA section here. So we can see from the design panel, we have a simple color to the CTA or the div block and we have basic text uh, with one with darker color and another one with a lighter shade. Before directly diving into the animation part, always think before doing any animation, right? What elements will you need to create that animation? So you can see here the box is moving up and another text layer is taking the place of the first text layer. And the first text layer is dark in color and the another one is light in color. Let's move on to now animations or interactions panel. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to go deep into you know, explaining the interface of Webflow. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create basic animation in minutes. So yeah, let's have a look at the interactions panel. So we have this interactions panel here, which has like two trigger points, which is element trigger and page trigger. So as per our ideation, we know that we need to interact with this CTA. Only then the animation will play or only then the animation will happen. So yeah, first of all, we need to see like whether it's an element trigger or whether it's a page trigger. So for now, we know like it's an element trigger. So let's uh, click on the plus uh, right beside element trigger and we have like mouse click, mouse hover, mouse move over element, scroll into view and while scrolling into view. And we're going to focus on mouse hover. As soon as I click on mouse hover, there are two settings on hover and on hover out. So on hover means when you move your mouse on top of the CTA, what effects gonna take place and on hover out means when you move outside the bounding box of the CTA or move your mouse outside the bounding box of CTA so that it should return to its initial state. So let's look at the animation once again to see like what is the initial state and what is the final state. So as you can see, our initial state is like the yellow color with a dark text and the final state is a purple color with a white text and that's all we need to animate so let's start so we click on action select an action for on hover and start an animation so i have created a timed animation or the action for on hovering over the cta and it is called cta in so let's add on to the properties which we are trying to animate so first of all, we are trying to animate the color change of the box and the movement of the box. So we will do it like layer by layer. So first we're going to go on to the actions and we're going to add the background color and we're going to click on the small plus icon at 0th second and we're going to click on move and we're going to go to the 0.5 second mark or like the end mark and we're going to add the same properties which we for the initial state. Yeah, that looks good. So 0th second is the initial state and 0.5 second is the final state. We're gonna reduce the timing to maybe 0.4 seconds. Yeah, so the time is changed to 0.4 seconds. So this animation will take from 0 to 0.4 second. So we can see a yellow color error mark right beside the property because we haven't given the initial state to the property. As you can see, our initial state is yellow color. But here you can see it's like background is like white. We need to change that. Click on the background, click on the pick drop and just pick the color. That's it. Now you want like the color to change from yellow to purple. And I'm going to just simply take this color from the element shown here. And this is the final point. And we have already set the initial point. Now we are gonna play with the movement of the whole div block. So for the initial point, we are gonna put 0 for the y axis and I'm not gonna touch the x axis or the z axis. So that's 0 and we are gonna 
change the y axis here to minus 10 so it's gonna move up when you hover on it so we can also preview the animation and it looks something like this which is pretty boring and this is because we haven't added any easing to it so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna select everything and I'm just gonna go here there's a pretty good easing effect called in out back and I'm just gonna select that and let's preview it again and it looks pretty good so we have animated the div block color we have animated the div block movement now we need to animate the CTA text 1 and text 2 so we're gonna go here and first select the CTA text 1 and we're gonna click here and we're gonna select move same goes for text 2 we're gonna go here on the 0 second we're gonna select move and same thing we need to do here for CTA text 1 I know the timing got changed from 0.4 to 0.5 and we're gonna fix it in a while so finally we have added CTA text 1 and CTA text 2 but now again we are getting this yellow color error mark which says like okay you have not given the initial state now the magic happens CTA text 2 is the lighter shade and CTA text 1 is the darker shade so we're gonna move the lighter shade you know out of this bounding box like something like 24 pixels in y axis negative y axis and text 1 should be in the center so we know like okay initial state text 2 is out of the bounding box or the div block and text 1 is right inside it now we need the text 1 to move away and it should move towards top and yeah somewhere like 44 works fine and text 2 should be in the center at the same place where text 1 was this looks pretty good to me now let's try to animate it the animation is working fine but we need to fix some things up so that it looks much more better so let's select all the properties being uh, animated and just go here to the easing and just add in out back and let's add the duration to 0.4 seconds and let's preview it again much better as you can see here the initial state is not accurate the animation is working but the animation is not returning to its initial position and why is that happening because we haven't told webflow what is the hover out action point here so we need to set that and for that we will just select start an animation and I'm gonna just duplicate this CTA in and I'm gonna rename it to CTA out we're gonna delete the final states from here which is gonna keep the initial states with us and everything should remain same because these were the initial state and just we're gonna save here and we need to make sure we select the right one for each of them so for on hover the CTA in effect and for on hover out we have CTA out so now let's have a look at the preview and let's see how the animation is working out over in over out over in over out yeah it's, it, it looks good but if you can see there is a little problem with the animation during the start where you can see like in the start the button looks something like this or the CT looks something like this and then it becomes normal but we need to fix that up so let's do one thing let's go to the design panel or the CSS panel and let's select CTA text 2 and I'm just gonna go to the position and I'm just gonna make it relative and just gonna push it down like 20 pixels and same goes for text 1 I'm just gonna make it relative and somewhere in the center like 6 pixels somewhere in the center so now it looks pretty uh, good to me but let's check out the animation and we hover in and the animation happens we hover out animation happens but the position is now a little bit here and there so we need to fix the timed animations so we click on get in touch CTA because that is where our element trigger is as you can see with the small kind of interaction icon here so we have already set the design accordingly to relative position where we have CTA 1 in the center and CTA 2 20 pixel below the div block so yeah let's gonna go here and if we already have 20 pixels below the div block then we can keep it here 0 so that it's out of the bounding box and CTA text 1 we already have given the position uh, relative position which makes it in the center so we're gonna give here 0 
such that it resets again to be in the center and everything else remains same here CTA text to this is something we need to change so we need to change the values to somewhere such that it looks good in the center minus 46 pixels looks good and it looks like somewhere in the center uh, maybe we can push it a bit maybe minus 44 pixels and for the CTA text one position looks fine to me maybe minus 44 and yeah this looks perfect also let's have a final look at the hover out animation the settings which I applied in CTA in we should copy the same settings so for the CTA text 2 it was 0 and CTA text 1 it was 0 so yeah same properties these are same and we are gonna save so now let's have a look at the animation and it's working fine so that's how we do animations inside Webflow and it's very easy you need to only decide the initial state and the final state and the rest of the animation Webflow takes care of it. So we just need to design elements inside the design panel or the CSS panel and then we need to do animations right inside interactions panel by adding trigger points and giving the timed animation for the initial and of course the final state. So hope you guys learned something from this tutorial and Thank you for your support on Instagram and this year I'm gonna push more tutorials on YouTube so do subscribe if you haven't and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Till then, ciao!